All right, so just a day later and I've got the frame sandblasted so that I could see uh, in more detail the dents and any damage that the rust did. Uh, but overall it looks really good and I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, the only issues and areas that I have any rust problems, I'm not sure if the, how well the camera's gonna pick it up. There's a small little keyhole right here uh, that seems to have um, rusted away. And then in the back down here towards the bottom, there's a few pinholes, none of them very big. And actually I'm thinking that the powder coat will probably actually fill those holes because once the powder congeals and gets heated, it all kind of melts together right there. So it may actually fill it all together. And even if it doesn't, I mean, that's an area that isn't very visible. The keyhole isn't at all, uh, but the spaces down here, uh, if it was noticeable, I mean, honestly, it's something I could put a sticker over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother doing any welding to, again, remedy such a small space. And at the same time, I had a couple of these wheel halves uh, sandblasted. These were from the bike that I tore down in the previous video. Uh, they're actually among the four halves. Only two of them were good. Unfortunately, they were the opposite halves. So one has the spacing for the tube and uh, the other is the one without it. But together make uh, a full wheel. On the 69 bike, the bearing issue is fixed, but I, in looking at video as my friends following me, I'm still getting a little left to right wobble and it looks like it's just because the rim is bent. Uh, I did a lot of reshaping of the rim uh, as I put it together and as I look at it, there's still a lot of spots where there's flat spots that are probably causing that wheel wobble. So again, these two halves, if you line them up this way, you can see that they're pretty nice and round. Getting them off the old wheel was a bitch though. Getting them off the old wheel was a pain in the ass. Getting them off the old, getting them off the old wheel was a pain though. Uh, I had to actually first cut the tire and then use an angle grinder to break the steel bead to pull them off. So a lot of mess, but overall they came out pretty good. The face here looks really nice and I'm sure will eat up the paint really well. They do both an acid dip and a sandblast, so it takes off all the rust. There is, if you look on the side, a lot of pitting from all the years of rust. But I plan on putting a primer coat on the inside to prevent it from rusting again, and then use the same aluminum color that I had on the other wheels so that I can use these to replace the back wheel and hopefully get it nice and straight. All right, it's an absolute gorgeous day here in Central Florida. I'm gonna be taking the frame and the fork and swing arm to the powder coater tomorrow. Uh, I've got the frame stripped here so that I can see the condition of everything again. Uh, there aren't any dents that I can find, but I'll look over more carefully before I'm done. But what I want to do both for this and the other parts are grind off some of these uglier welding points that just look so messy. I'm not gonna, I'm not looking to make them perfect, but just want to get some of the rougher ones out before I bother to take it to the powder coater. So I decided to go with this anthracite gray color for the CT70 build. It came out really nice. It's got a lot of metal fleck in it that in the sun you can see a little bit of shimmer, but it's not overly metallic. I also powder coated the front fork, but I think I'm gonna use an inverted disc setup on this build. I figured I'd get it powder coated in case I wanted to, to switch it up in the end, but I think I'm gonna use the stock swing arm and of course the frame and then go with a different front suspension setup. This area in the back here that had a couple of holes ended up coming out pretty good. There was only three little holes that didn't get filled with the powder coat material. Uh, and they're all pretty small. Once it's, once it's closed up, I don't think you'll actually be able to notice it. And again, the fender comes over most of that. So those were the only rust problems that presented an issue. These little plugs here still from the powder coat process. Um, and there's this little keyhole here, again, that's gonna be covered by the fender. So I'm not too worried about that. Otherwise, the rest of the frame was in pretty good shape and again, happy with the outcome there. All right, I got the wheel halves refinished. Uh, they look pretty good. I've got the primer coat on the back side and then on the front side, do the primer, then the aluminum finish and then a clear coat. paid attention to this when I put these wheels together but when you line them up like this you can see that there's quite a bit of gap and uh, unstraightness so anyway gonna get rid of these and get the new ones on and hopefully my wheel will be back to good and just for comparison this is what the wheels that I'm putting on look like all the way around there a pretty nice straight line so all right got everything back together did a ride and things are good wheel is nice and straight actually did a ride with my buddy uh, who followed me around to make sure that the wheel was tracking uh, the way that it should 
a bit of a mismatch crew out there, me on the CT70 and him on the S1000 RR. Uh, probably look a little strange going around the neighborhood, but I uh, was able to confirm that things are good. So, so if you stuck around to the end of the video, thanks everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, please check out the other videos. I've got three CT70 builds that I've done so far, and I'm now working on the fourth one. And if you haven't yet, uh, please subscribe below, click the bell so that you can get notified when I post new videos. I've been posting videos pretty regularly, particularly on CT70s. I think actually for this newest build, instead of doing a playlist just on the new build, I'm just going to turn this into a vlog type format because I'm going to keep working on the 69 bike and now also doing the build on this 70 bike that again I'm going to do a little more wild than the previous builds. I've got the engine and the suspension coming next week and both of those are going to be pretty cool. And shortly I'll introduce you to my buddy Manny who's also doing a CT70 build. He just got the frame sandblasted yesterday and I believe it's at the powder coater today so we'll do a ride over to his place and see how that's going here in a bit. So thanks everybody again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.